Hello guys, it is me once again, Unstable Voltage, with another episode of Let's Play Sleeping Dogs. In the last video, we managed to pull a pretty blonde girl, and we helped Jackie boost some counterfeit watches. And I'm just going to nick this guy's scooter, because it's left there unattended. And let's see if we can do this favour over here, whatever it is. Hey! Hey! Got a feeling whatever it is, it's going to end badly, but let us have a look. Oh, get coming. Okay, we have to walk around. Fine. What's up? Hey, you're Song Yi, right? I was racing earlier and I would have won. But this guy, Tommy Han Lan, he cheated. Ran me off the road at the last minute. Can you teach him a lesson? Keep him from doing it again? Yeah, sure. He's not far. Wreck his car. That'll teach him. Right, so we've got to get to this guy's car and just wreck it. We can do that. Now, one useful thing you can do, particularly with um, melee... Oh, God, this thing steers incredibly quickly. Uh, one thing you can do with melee weapons uh, is with most cars, you can actually get a tyre iron out of the boot. So if there's ever a car nearby, there's always a quick and easy way to, uh, to find a weapon. You get quite a lot of these particular favours, actually. Um, I'm just going to grab this while I'm here. I know we're on a time limit, but that's not really much of a problem. You give plenty of time. Now I'm going to look a right idiot if I run out of time now, but still. Uh, I do remember from the last time I played this that um, these shrines and things do eventually appear on the map. I'm not sure whether you have to do certain things to get uh, get these items to appear on the maps, or whether they just do whenever you drive past them and you find them. But um, I usually figure that while you're there, it's easier to do that. So, yeah, it's, it's all telling me here that I can get tyre irons from the trunks of the car, so that's fine. So, you just go to the trunk of the car, right-click, and there we are. And this now means we can beat the crap out of the car. So, as you can see, all, already the uh, tyre iron is uh, broken. Can we get another tyre iron? No, you can usually only get one tyre iron right from each doing? car. Now, the, uh, here's the guy that owns the car. Tried to go for the flying kick and failed. Now I was trying to be cocky and do some sort of grapple manoeuvre, but um, he got the better of me. There we go, and he's down, and that gives us a bit more face experience. Fantastic. Could nick what's left of his car if I wanted, but don't really see the point in doing that. Um, so, what should we do next? What have we got? Um, minibus racket, um, quiet drive. Uh, what's that? Is that the um, thing we've just been doing? Let's just go back there, actually. Let's pick up the reward for that if there is one. This this uh, this bike is very very twitchy. Um, Oh, no, actually, it looks like it is another favour, but still, what do you need? always right. worth doing. But in a second. <laughs> okay. Let's go, let's go! Yep, I knew this was coming. What the hell? That asshole was sleeping with my girlfriend! You can't just punch a cop. I know! You gotta have a getaway ready. Really appreciate it. A little warning would be nice. Oh, right, okay. You're gonna pull this shit, you gotta learn to drive. Think, think about dumping that girlfriend too, all right? Well, she's not exactly my girlfriend. I really like her though. She's got a nice smile. Dress is real nice. Well, you're not even dating her? Not yet, man. You gotta be optimistic though. Son of a bitch. Is not my best driving, man. You mean like right now? Come on. We're son on ye. Pops don't got anything on us. Son of a bitch! Oh, I think the cops just wrecked himself twice. Whoops, that was a bit close. I appreciate that now I'm driving around in circles, but I'm trying to take the cops through traffic, which I think we have done, and I think we lost them. Brilliant. Next, way. Next time I need to hit a cop, I know who to call. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> so we can just drop him off anywhere, can we? Fine. Get out, you muppet. Wait a minute, this is your car. Why are you running off and leaving me in the car? Oh, well, at least we've got some cash. And what have we got now? 
Mm, okay, let's carry on with another drugs bust, and then we will do a, another story mission. Because we're quite close by to this one, and I can see another health shrine, so while we're here... Oh, whoa, never mind. Again, you can hit as much stuff as you want. You don't uh, actually do any damage. Well, you do damage, but you don't actually lose any cop score if you're not on a mission, which is fantastic. Now, you'll also see these um, women hanging around offering quote-unquote sexy massage, uh, and this basically just increases your face rating, I believe. Sure, why not? The funny thing is that um, as Wei's reputation gets more and more throughout the game, um, these conversations tend to get stranger and stranger. So, as you can see, I didn't do an edit there. You don't get to see anything. I'm very sorry. That's pretty much all that happens. But your uh, face meter goes up, so... So, as you can see, we've got some dudes. We're going to beat them up. Well, I'm going to try and beat them up. Well, I'm going to point in their general direction and click the mouse button until some of them fall on the floor. This is pretty much what I do. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it's... Oh, right mouse button for this one. Oh, I wasn't quick enough. I thought I was, actually. Oh, F. Come on, I pressed F. I pressed F. We all know that I suck at quick time events, but I pressed F. Okay, let's uh, let's just go for the counters because it's those that are going to actually give us a better face score here. You also learn moves later on, particularly when you start finding these jade statues and you learn new moves. But you actually get moves that uh, make everyone around you cringe. So sometimes you can do a move that will break somebody's leg and anybody nearby just kind of feels sick. So it's a very, very effective way of doing things. Right, you are just going in this dumpster so one less of you to have to deal with so the reason we're doing this is going to be another one of those cctv things you can see the uh, control panel over there which we'll do in a second just need to get rid of a few more thugs unfortunately a few more are turning up as well which is a bit of a pain right will you just bloody go down there we go who's next you fine down yet? Are you down yet? Are you down yet? Hit me in the back. Stop it. Get off. Okay, they'll all run away now. He'll hide in the corner. I can't hit him, but he's just going to run there. He's going to glitch out. Fine, okay. So we've got our little uh, mini game here again. Pack into the camera. And while that guy's continually running into the wall, we'll just do the same as we did last time. So we'll do 0, 1, 2, and 3, because they all have to be unique numbers. So, 1 and 3 aren't in here, but 0 and 2 are. So we'll move the 0 to there, and we'll move the 2 across. And we will have 4 and 5. Okay, so we've now got the 0 and the 2 in the correct place, but 4 and 5 are wrong. So we'll try 6 and 7. Seven's in the right place, so now we'll try eight, which is wrong, and nine. There we go. So as long as you use that methodology of doing it, you'll never, you only get sort of nine attempts, but you'll never run out. As long as you use that methodology, you will always do it. So I guess we'll have a look at this minibus racket. I need a vehicle. Well, that's convenient. Get out. Thank you very much. So let's go and have a look at this minibus racket, see what's going on with it. Not the best vehicle, I appreciate, but um, it'll get us there. And it is raining, so I'd rather not walk. Oh, look, there's the other car. How far have we got to go? Quite far. Again, like a lot of these um, sandbox-style games, different parts of the city tend to have different cars. So if you're hanging around in the posh area, you'll see a lot more sports cars. If you're hanging around out in the scrubs, you'll get people who have... Uh, much um, more dingy cars and vans. My man, away! You done good. You restored order to the night market. Well, you took a chance on me, Winston. I wanted to make sure it paid off. 
You got the right attitude. That's gonna pay off for you. You'll see. You know anything about the minibus racket? Well, same as everyone. If you want to drive a good route, you pay the toll. That's right. You know the pickup on Marble Drive? The most profitable route in the whole fucking city. From now on, it's yours. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it, Winston. <laughs> Dog eyes, Walt. Right now, it's his room. You know how to deal with it, huh? It'll be my fucking pleasure. I gotta take this. Take a few of the guys with you to back you up. Come on, Let's muscles. Go. Your arms are so muscly you can't actually put them down by your side. So What's going on? we're going on offense. Taking over Marlboro Drive. One man per stop. Anybody gives you shit? Fuck them up. Smack them around, no killing. What, afraid of little blood? Dog eyes his son on ye. We're taking the route, not declaring war. You can ask is fine by me. Okay. This bus drives so incredibly slowly. I mean, okay, fair enough, it's a bus, but Wait, what still. what are you doing? Whoops. I'll take this one. Good job. Yeah, kick his ass. Who are you? <laughs> Get out of here. I'm just drop him off to do that, and Wait, we will well, carry not, on driving to the next stop. going after Dog Eyes? Shouldn't we be fighting 18K? Dog Guy came after us? This is payback. Plain and simple. What if Dog Eyes complains to Big Smile Lee? What if he sends Mr. Tong after us? Look, dude. Dog Eyes might work for Lee. But Winston answers direct to Uncle Whoa! Bill. Nobody going to fuck with the chairman. Nobody. Hey, you haven't paid. If it's a dog, we'll beat you. This is our stop now. Yeah. And all of a sudden, we have people to beat up. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was Unstable Voltage Place Chinese Bus Simulator 2012. Saying that, considering the number of cheesy simulator games that have been made over recent years, there probably is one. Okay, let's grab you because you're annoying. I'm going to grab you because it's easy. I'm going to grab one of you guys, not you because you're on my side, and you can make the call. While your buddy behind me is trying to hit me and failing miserably. Okay, let's have you over here. Enjoy this. That's not what I wanted to do with him. Get up. You were supposed to do this. Thank you very much. Yeah, fuckers. Is that guy on my side? Yeah. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Are we back in the bus now? Back in the bus. Alright, you can with your fist. I'll keep you What's back. the horn? Thanks. Yeah, we have Doesn't sound like a bus horn. He was good with his fist too. Came out of nowhere. Good, good story. Didn't talk much. You remind me of him. A lot. Turned out he was a cop. That's why he couldn't kill anyone. See? Ooh, so ooh, now ooh. we know how to spot a rat. You talk. You know that? You know what they do to traitors, right? When Tong is done with them, he buries them alive. Six feet under. Nobody coming for you. Hey, fuck you, Conroy. I still think about that poor fucker sometimes. This bus does not steer well. Drifting doesn't work too well either. Hey, come on, woman, you're hitting the back of the bus. It's a bus. How could you not see it? Seriously. Don't give me the blame. Okay, here's the next stop. Is it going to be another fight? I bet it Let's is. Let's go. No, 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 you stay here. I'll do it. Watch how a real man does it. Oh, look, bitch. You better get them. Right, so now we have to chase down the other bus. Harass the rival minibus driver and make him pull over. Press H to honk at close range. So that that's how harass that's our harassment mechanic is papping the horn. Hey you, you want this ride, you gotta pay for it. Are you stoned? I already paid dog guys. Belongs to Winston now. Pull over and I'll tell you about it. You're wasting my time. How about I break your legs and see how you drive then, huh? I still drive better than you. I finished my road before you finish picking your nose. Winston must be recruiting dumbass peasants from across the border. Okay, okay, I'm going. Get Quite easy to harass him when uh, okay, you okay. basically drive along stuck to his bumper. There's a slight problem with your bus, so we're doing a change. 
There we go. Don't worry, people. After a quick change of drivers, we're on our way. And there might be a few casualties here, but that's that's fine. That's fine. And um, we will drop people off at the night market. Okay, so we are being ambushed. Who the hell are these guys? But that's fine. Because we have the world's slowest, heaviest bus. And we use it to try and make a jump, which probably wasn't the most sensible thing to do. And driving out into the coast probably isn't that sensible of an idea either, but still. We do what we can. <laughs> oh, have they just got themselves stuck? Quite possibly they have. That wasn't quite the um, drift I was hoping for there. Still, at least them getting in front of me provides me with an opportunity to bash them off the road. There we go, there's one of them out of the way. Stop crying, woman. I am the police. Come on, we've got to get away from these guys without getting totally killed. Excuse me, out of the way, please. Thank you. Ah, oh, there we go. So if you do crash into parking meters while in your car, you do get uh, cash for that. That's going to hurt. Oop. I'm on the wrong side of the road now. I'm losing my police score all over the place. Am I even going to get uh, to where I need to go with the bus in one piece? Am I going to get away from these guys? Come on! Well, I've got away from one of them, almost. There we go. Okay, we now have to drop off the passengers with passenger satisfaction. <laughs> Already it's gone down to, like, half because um, somebody crashed into the side of me. You saw that, it's on video. They crashed into the side of me. Luckily, the passenger satisfaction goes back up again, which is, uh, which is a good thing. But we've got to drive a little more uh, pedestrian now. Let's try and get there in one relatively unharmed piece. Almost there. I will be glad to get rid of this bus. I'm sure there's a bit in this game as well where you end up driving a dust cart. And that's just as hard to control. But for the time being, we are almost here. Are we done? I was like four metres too far short. This was probably the most exciting thing that happened all week. Yeah, oh, well, there you go. Glad to have been a service. So we got a little bit of cop score and we got a little bit of triad score. Nothing particularly brilliant, but still. Right, what does it want us to do now? Uh, text message from Jackie. I heard what happened. I hope everything is good. My uncle trusts you now. You should call him. Uh, parked a truck and disguise in front of Popstar's court. Stake out his next move. Okay, so we have um, two missions now. Another lead on Popstar and we can carry on with the story mission at Club Bam Bam. I think we will um, go and do the Popstar one for the time being. Now we must remember at some point we also need to go to our apartment because we need... Actually, how close are we to the apartment? Put the brakes on, bus. Uh, where is the apartment? It's a very good point. Where is the... Ah, there it is. Yeah, I am going to go to the apartment because we hacked another camera and we need to do that drugs bus, which gives us a perfect opportunity to save. And as we're about coming up to the 20 minute mark, that will be brilliant to end the video there. So, let's go back to our apartment and do another drugs bust. Um, probably not the best place to park on the bus, but that's where it's going anyway. Oops, excuse me. Sorry. Coming through. 
Get out of my way. Okay. And as usual, we get to use our surveillance system. Did we get any new clothes? I know we got some stuff. Was it a preset outfit? Workout clothes, yeah. So we got a gym gear now. But I digress. Where's the CCTV system? So, as before, we can see we've got trial activity at North Point. We now have a second camera, because that's the one we did a couple of episodes ago. So we want to have a look at this one. Now, let me see if my theory is correct. Have they actually changed the dealer? No, they haven't. It's always the guy in the suit carrying the bag. Always pretty obvious who it is. So just follow him with the camera until the thing appears above his head. And then hit enter. And just sit and watch while the cops arrive. And the guy aimlessly mills around, walking into trash bags. Little brutal, but fine, he's down. And that's another job done. So there we go, that's a bit more of the story completed. And we've leveled up a little bit, got a bit more experience. And in the next video, we're going to go off and do one of the case files, which is one of the police missions, try and get our cop score up a little bit more. Until then, we are going to have a nap, and that will save our progress. So, once again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please, as usual, like, subscribe, and share. I have been Unstable Voltage. This has been Sleeping Dogs, and I will see you on the next video.